Health Canada is not commenting tonight on plans to launch a class action lawsuit over its outing of medical marijuana users. Last week, the federal government sent letters to people in the Medical Marijuana Access Program. But the envelopes were clearly marked as coming from the program. Yvonne Colbert has the latest. I work with the public, and I think that I've seen as, a, as a, an intelligent and friendly, uh, hardworking, informed person and he says most people would never guess he's one of the 40,000 Canadians who can legally possess medical marijuana. Some like him can also grow their own. It said medical marijuana access program right on a letter that was sticking out of my mailbox for anyone who walked up on my step to see. Could have been a neighborhood kid knock on my door trying to sell tickets to a, a raffle and seeing that sticking out of there. He's asked us to keep his identity secret, partly because he's worried about his family's safety and partly because he's worried he could lose his job where a security clearance is required. There's a, a, large, a large number of my family members and uh, a lot of my friends and uh, none of my co-workers that knew. And now I don't know who knows. Health Canada says it regrets what it calls an administrative error, but those affected say it goes further than that. This Halifax lawyer has started a class action lawsuit against Health Canada seeking compensation. It claims the government has violated the privacy of the tens of thousands of Canadians in the program. David Fraser says it's caused a lot of stress for people who are already stressed because of their health. Individuals are, are experiencing significant anxiety about their own security, the safety of their families. In many cases, these are people People have small, small children in their homes, uh, or it, it also includes the elderly. So it, it crosses that, that complete cross, uh, spectrum. And for this man, it means the added cost of installing a security system to ensure his family is safe. The class action lawsuit must still be approved by the Federal Court of Canada. But even then, lawyer David Fraser cautions it won't be resolved quickly. He says cases like this can often take years to settle. Yvonne Colbert, CBC News.